Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to request access to a Facebook ad account so you can run campaigns from your client's account without sharing any login details. This is just going to be a quick video tutorial, so if you want to get more details about um, how Facebook ad accounts work, then check out our more detailed blog posts on ryhex.com where we also share some additional information that we're not going to mention in this video. You can also find hundreds of tutorials there on social media and Facebook advertising for absolutely free. One more thing before the tutorial, if you want to audit your Facebook ad account to get higher Facebook ads return on ad spend, then check out our Facebook ads audit checklist that you can download from our website, ryhex.com. And now it's completely free. Links to the 56 point free checklist in the description below. All right, so if you want to request access to a Facebook ad account, you have to do this in the Facebook Business Manager, or as it is now called, uh, the Meta Business Suite. And you have to come to this page, and this page is located in the Business Settings section of your Facebook Business Manager account. The user interface keeps changing, but uh, you can also arrive at this page by uh, going to business.facebook.com slash settings. And whether you use the new Meta Business Suite or the legacy Facebook Business Manager, you will arrive at this page. And then here, click on Accounts and Add Accounts. And as you can see, here is one ad account I have already added to this Facebook ad account. And here you can request access to a new Facebook ad account. If you haven't added or requested access to another ad account yet, then uh, you won't see this uh, you know, ad account list here, but you will see this Add button somewhere in the middle of the screen. So whether it's here or here, click on it. And as you can see, you have three options then. You can create a new ad account here also. And you can also add an ad account or request access to a Facebook ad account. So what is the difference? If you own the ad account, so you have already created a, a Facebook ad account, but you haven't added to the business manager yet, then you would add this as an ad account. However, if you're an agency and uh, or a freelancer and you're working for a client, then you would request access to a Facebook ad account. As Facebook says here, your business needs to use this ad account on behalf of another business. So you would click on this. And as you can see, you have two options here. The first one is all you have to do is basically paste the ad account ID of your client. And uh, I'm gonna show you how your client can, um, can find the ad account ID if uh, he doesn't know the ID. It's a really easy process. Or the second option is that you have to ask the client to grant you access to the Facebook ad account. And so I'm going to show you how your client can uh, do it. So you can send this video to him or her and uh, he can follow the instructions to add you to the ad account. And all you have to do is copy your uh, business manager ID, which is uh, uh, located here, copy it and send it to the client. And then the client, all you have to do is go to partners here. So under the user section, uh, the client should click on partners and click on add and uh, as you can see give a partner access to your assets click on that and paste the ID and click on next and then the client will be able to add the Facebook ad account uh, to your Facebook business manager if uh, you want to request access to the client's ad account as I have mentioned you have to know the ID of that ad account ID and the client can easily find that by uh, going to uh, Business Manager or Meta Business Suite, then find the Ads Manager in the Facebook uh, Business Manager. On this page, you can create new Facebook ad campaigns and so on. And uh, the ad account ID is the one here. So it starts with 823 and so on. So this is the ID of the ad account ID. You can also click on this arrow and uh, select another account if it's another ad account you want to add to your Facebook Business Manager. Before we would wrap up, just make sure to check out our free Facebook Ads audit checklist so you can get 56 checkpoints we use to consistently find opportunities to increase the return on ad spend of Facebook Ads campaigns. We are planning to charge money for this checklist in the future, so get it now for free until you can. You can get the checklist by clicking on the link in the description below or search on Google for iroihacks.com and add the keywords Facebook Ads audit checklist spreadsheet and then it should be the first page on Google. Also, if you want to learn more about running and optimizing Facebook Ads campaigns, make sure you check out our Facebook Ads tutorial YouTube playlist. See you next time.